Hello everyone and welcome to my Autodesk Revit tutorial. In today's Autodesk Revit tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draw in this circular reinforced concrete column with the spiral reinforcement and the main rebar. But before I begin this tutorial, I'd like you to hit the like button and subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials like this. And without further ado, let's get started. So in Revit 2024, things are a bit different. So I will show you how to open up a structural project template so just click on browse over here right now and go to templates over here choose english over here and then there are quite a few options here so what you want to do is choose the structural analysis default metric over here and click on open and okay and this Revit 2024 structural template is similar to that of Revit 2022 or previous years. So let's proceed to a level 1 view. And let's draw in a column. So I'll just load in a new family. I'll just quickly find it in the English folder. Under structural columns, concrete, and select concrete run over here for this tutorial i'll be using a 300 millimeter reinforced concrete column so i'll place this down right over here and change it to fine okay select this column and let me just adjust this to level two and get rid of the base offset and apply so I can select on this column and place a rebar and just click on OK for this dialog box and scroll down, go find the spiral reinforcement. We can't actually draw it in in the plan view, so we need to actually create a section view or go to a elevation view. So for this tutorial, I'll be creating a new section view so that we can do just that. So I'll quickly open up the section view over here. And this is our reinforced concrete column over here. So select it, click on rebar, click on OK, and select the spiral reinforcement over here. And make sure you're using by two points over here. And for this case, I'll be using near cover reference and choosing the vertical option. So I'll draw from this part here, which is the base of the column with a offset from the rebar cover and I will drag it up like so then I can proceed to a plan view and edit the rebar itself click on apply and OK and alter the view visibility states so that it can be visible in level 1 and in the 3D view so let's move this to the middle roughly to the middle over here and just drag it out like so and you can go ahead and make the view scale 1 to 10 so that it'll be easier to deal with the precise placement of the rebar itself so it's almost completely in the column already and we just need to reduce the size a tiny smidge selecting this can be a bit of a pain but anyways we have successfully placed in the spiral reinforcement and we can see it in 3d over here let me make this fine so this is our spiral reinforcement and you can change the bar diameter for example and now it's time to draw in the vertical reinforcement bars so for a circular reinforced concrete column the minimum number of vertical rebar is six typically you shouldn't go less than that so let's proceed to the architecture tab over here and let's draw in some line models to help us place the vertical rebar so I'll place one over there and 
and let's proceed to draw in the vertical rebar choose expand to host over here and perpendicular to cover and just place in the rebar and now we can adjust the placement of the rebar over here like so since we've already placed in some construction lines to use as a reference Alternatively, you can actually just do it for one half and then just mirror it. But I've just shown you a different way over here where you draw in these lines and these lines will help you place the rebar. Most importantly, you must use a wireframe graphic option over here so that you can see the line itself inside this column. And that's it for today's Autodesk Revit tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, like this tutorial, share this tutorial, and subscribe for more Autodesk Driver tutorials like this. And as always, stay safe, keep learning, and goodbye.